Okay, so I'm here with Ava Cruz, who's going to be fighting this weekend on your fighting championship. Uh, the last time she fought, she fought in the UK. So it's been a while since I've seen her compete. Thank you so much for your time. Um, how is fight week for you? You're a couple of days away from the fight. How are you feeling? I feel really good. I feel really good. I've actually been surprising myself with uh, my moods because I'm on a thousand calories, doing the water loads. This is the tough part, really. But uh, I'm actually surprising myself with uh, how happy and kind of boosted I actually feel like normally I don't feel like this around this time so uh, yeah it's great I'm loving it it's a, it's a change of mood than, than usual but there's one thing I find I want to get your kind of thoughts on it you're training so hard all year round and then obviously when you have the fight you've got fight week and then kind of everything kind of stops you've got to the, how hard is that as a fighter to switch off from that trainer mode to go into this mode or is that just something you accumulate over time as in like fight week now yeah, so the way you're training so hard and then, you know, it's kind of yeah. like a hard stop at Dennis Way and kind of just kind of taking yeah. stuff. How is How hard is it to switch off from that hard training and what you've been doing up until camp until now? Yeah, well, I, I still train just really light, but like I don't really stop as such. You know what I mean? Like you said, technique. Um, But like I was doing a technique in the class and then when the rounds come, I jump off. So I'm still, and some people don't like doing that, you know, what I do, I just, I just like to keep moving um, and just still doing like your shadow box and then stuff like that. Um, so I'm still always doing something. So um, I don't find it that hard, to be honest. I don't find it too hard. Um, I always get straight back into it anyway. I don't take too long off because um, I do miss it. So, um, but no, I, I don't find it too much of a transition because I know my body needs it. Do you know the kind of way? Like if I ever do get anything like, oh, I want to stay on for even one or two rounds, like I just try and hold off because uh, I know that'd be silly. And uh, yeah, it's it's what my body needs and deserves at this time. So I find it all right, yeah. Yeah, it, it, I, I could say like that, your body does need to rest. You train hard all year round. And you've got a yeah. good group of girls in SBG. I do see obviously yourself and a couple of other girls posting. What's it like having that those kind of bodies in to train with as well? Do you know that usually girls might have a smaller or gyms might have a smaller number of girls. You've got like yeah. like amazing pro fighters. You've got amateurs. You've got knobs. You've got everything. What's it like yeah. training SBG with those bodies at the minute? That's brilliant. Yeah, I know it is. And there's it's always even girls joining or if you're just coming for a day or so. Like it's just always bodies and um, like you said, different levels. So um, yeah, no, um, it's great. And there's even different sizes and stuff like that. So. I've uh, went up a little bit for this fight every day before flyweight, so I say a bit heavier, and that's why I'm doing my water load and um and all like that for for this fight because I wanted to stay that bit heavier because uh a lot of the girls I'm training with will be that little bit bigger than me, so it made more sense to just sit at my walk around weight rather than dieting down because I have done day before flyweight without doing all this, but um I'm having less carbs and less calories throughout the camp, so I wanted that bit more uh just to have kind of stronger spars and do you know what I mean just have that bit more energy and um, so it's been enjoyable yeah uh, this is just like I said the hard part <laughs> because, because like that if they are heavier than you you don't want to give them the strength advantage in the training uh, yeah. going forward but obviously you're going to be fighting this Sunday at your you've got Chloe who kind of I think she kind of came out of nowhere the past kind of year and a half as well it's an extremely good fight I actually like it um would you have done much study on her or do you do much study or do you just kind of work on yourself going into it or do your coaches look at your opponent for you and devise a game plan? Yeah, we've all looked at her. We've all looked at her and um, she's a southpaw. So um, there is a few things that I, I'd normally fight orthodox, but I have fought uh, Kaya in southpaw twice. So um, the camp is that bit different. But, you know, I don't, I don't put too much emphasis on that either because she could come out in orthodox and surprise me and stuff like that so I'm still still working both but um now we've had a look at her and um picked out some holes and uh created a game plan and feel confident going into it yeah yeah and like do you like looking and creating the game plan or do you just want to get in there and fight like because a lot of people like looking and trying to to figure it out themselves would you want do you enjoy that more or do you enjoy just getting in there and scrapping yeah, I rather kind of get go just go in there. Like I wouldn't not look at them. Um, I wouldn't not look at them. But when I say look, it was the first kind of for, when the fight first got confirmed. We all had a look. Um, but then I I wasn't like looking every week around like that. Do you know what I mean? Like studying her. I wasn't going off studying her around like that. I kind of just looked at, her, picked out some things, and I was like, right, because like that, people can develop, people can change. Um, and on top of that, like it's a fight. You know what I mean? In the moments. Anything can happen. It is great going in with your game plans, but um, really, 
as you know, like a fight is, is how it is in the moment in there. So I don't put too much emphasis on it. Um, but she obviously had that fight there three weeks ago with Kaya. So I was watching that live. Um, and that was nice in a sense that I could see an up-to-date version of her because it had been, uh, I forget the date, but it was a couple of months back when she fought Gemma Alt uh, from Scotland. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see an up-to-date version and uh, nothing's really changed. So yeah. Yeah, because like you said, amateurs can change so much, especially if they haven't fought, they could be just upskilling. And it could be a different fighter by the time they get there. But like that, like you said, you have an updated version. But you fought recently, obviously, uh, or this year in the UK and you got the finish. How did that feel? And how did that come about? Did Were you actively looking outside of Ireland to get opponents or did they come to you? And how did it feel to get the finish? They came to me and that show, they texted me. That, that fight wasn't too long after the Europeans in Serbia. Um, and this fight was organised while I was in camp for that. Um so I knew I'd come in out of camp and straight back into another one. Um but yeah, um that was a good show. Um and it felt amazing as always to get the win. Um and that's my 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 go to position it seems to be crucifix. I love crucifix. It's uh me and Lisa were drilling it the other day and uh, she got me and I was just showing her one or two things on it and I was like God it's actually horrible. Like I'd hate to be stuck in this <laughs> It's actually a horrible position, but it's so nice when they're on the opposite end because they can't move. Do you know what I mean? And when you do it properly, they actually can't move. I just I love that position. Yeah, and it's the beginning the end. Once if you get someone yeah. in properly, they, like they can't defend themselves. If your lane strikes down, yeah. the fight is over. But like yeah. that, we talked about the struggles to get fights. Uh, the world is going to be coming up soon. Is that something you're going to be looking to go towards, or because you've done a lot of them and I know they're quite expensive, or is it something you're looking towards, or are you looking towards more regional for the rest of the year? Not too sure what I'm doing yet, to be honest with the world. Um, I'm still undecided. Um, like for one, I've got no annual leave left to work, so <laughs> that's one thing to battle. Um, but I might be able to sort something out with that. But yeah, I don't really know what the crack is. But yeah, if I if I was to like, it might be my last one. Um, so that's the other side of it. But yeah, I don't really know what to do about that just yet. Yeah, and then obviously, uh, you've got Chloe, then you've got six shows in November so you've got your choice to pick from three them on one day uh, we won't even go into that but, yeah that's my uh, wait, like obviously your progression has been very good uh, and like I said you're going to start you're going to start running out of girls fight here do you have mm -hmm. an eye on pro in the near future are you going to start looking more outside to the UK to get these high level fights because there's not going to be many more for you to fight in the country I don't think because a lot of the girls will be coming in kind of new you've yeah. got so many fights do you have a plan and now are you just taking it one fight at a time yeah i'm trying my best to think ahead like to the near future um it's just like that like there isn't really anyone left in ireland now after chloe um so that that is a struggle in ireland and then there is quite a few girls in england but the tricky part is getting the shows to cover your fights and accommodation because it's not just for me it's a coach that they they need to to be paying for as well and a lot of the shows actually don't do that um but I was offered a title fight um against a girl in England that I do want to fight. Um, but it was too soon after this fight and it was my first title and all, so and I'm going away and there was just it just wasn't uh the date just wasn't right. But um I was offered that same fight then in March, that's their next show. So like that, I've got a title now in England, fights and combination paid for for me and my coach uh, in March. So I've got stuff forward to but um it is a struggle like and that's why the I maps I agree. But a lot of it comes down to money, you know what I mean? Like it does, it's expensive to fight. And um just trying to find the shows that are outside of Ireland um to pay for flights and accommodation. But they are out there and uh, it's just about saying positive really because <clears throat> like the realistically the girls are in England or Scotland. Um there's only one or two in Wales and um yeah, just putting my name out there. There is a if an Instagram page and it's for female matchmaking. It's called Horror Fights Directory. You probably know it, like, and they're actually brilliant. Um, they have like a directory, and you put your name in, and when fights come up, like, or they're, they're so good, and they're two pro fighters themselves, um, who run that female. So, um, I have my name down on that with all them, and like that, they try and get the fights and combination covered. Um, so yeah, it's just about staying positive and putting my name out there as much as I can, um, and just hoping that something comes up. But I would like something for the end of the year, um. I would like something for the end of the year. That's that's what I do now. Yeah. After this one, like. 
Yeah, hopefully, hopefully there is something for you like that. Reason yeah. folks don't make a hell of a lot, and they don't like. It's hard to yeah. get people people over, and then flights, accommodation, and all everything else that goes with it. Yeah. Um, and how hard is it? Like I said, you've no one you're leaving work. We're not going to go into your work, but like to work full time and to fight. Like how hard is that to balance? Because like I said, you've got your annual leave. The IMAS costs money. Like, have you got that structured now, or did, how long did that take? How hard is that? Because people don't understand. They see these fighters, but they don't understand. A lot of you have full-time jobs. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm used to it at this stage, like, just the everyday grinds. Like, you know, I just think I'm used to it. Um, like, I'm nearly five years now in this job. And um, I will say they're very good to me. Like, they are flexible. Um, like, for example, even letting me um leave during the day to, to go to training pro class which is on at 11 so I start earlier and then I finish later so I'm still working eight hours but um a lot of jobs wouldn't let you do that you know um so that's one thing they're very they're very supportive with that um and like that I work from home in the mornings and then three days a week I'm in the office and then two days I'm at home so um I appreciate those days when I work from home because like although it's, it's an office job and I'm primarily sitting down it's just so mentally exhausting being in the office you know so I'm grateful to have even two days work from home. I do feel that bit more rested um, before the next session uh, on those two days. Um, but yeah, um, I won't say it's easy. Um, especially making that second session can be harder to make some days than others. Um, but have to do what we have to do. Bills to pay and I don't really see another option for the minute. So um, just get on with it. Just put the head down. Get on with it. Prioritise my sleep, obviously, always. Do you know what I mean? Eating good, solid meals because like it goes without saying, but if you were to be feeding your body with shite, like you're gonna feel like shite. So well, a lot of those things do do play into part, like do you know what I mean? The smaller background kind of things, uh, just to having a busy life like that. Um so yeah, but like that, I think I'm just used to it now. Yeah, it's the little details that kind of make the big picture for you as well. And you are lucky you have a job that is kind of flexible as well, because yeah. it is hard. Like I speak to so many fighters and like it's it's not easy and it costs a lot of money like it's not like yeah. you make money but it's good that you're able to do that and you're able to benefit from from your job being so good to you um mm -hmm. so with that being said like towards sunday like when you start you kind of how is your wake up for you like obviously you've done quite a few now you fought a lot of same day wanes as well which mm -hmm. do you prefer do you prefer the day before or do you prefer the day of or do you does it make a difference to you um if i could choose day before um if I could choose day before I don't mind same day like I've done so many of them um and like that like you can kind of gauge that you're going to be in around probably the same weight it's probably a bit more fair if I'm doing same day because they don't have that much time to refuel um whereas like you know with the water cup um they, they could have that extra few back on once they're finished so yeah but look you know like we were saying before this like you know it's not all about the weight your technique can definitely overcome that a lot of times so uh, yeah, but if I could pick, I'd 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 definitely be picking the day before and like that. That's another reason why I'm doing the same heavier like and then doing the water pull uh, for this because I just want to be prepping all these amateur fights as much as I can for pro. Like pro, I'm not gonna be doing same day weigh-ins. I'm gonna be doing a water pull down to fifty two. So um, I just want to be getting in the habit of it as much as I can really and uh, just getting into routine and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. I, if I can now, like I would prefer that just for that reason, prepping as much as I can. Yeah, because obviously if you want to go pro, that's what you're going to do and it's better to yeah. kind of get it down now and that's what amateur is all about and like all in all, you've had a fantastic amateur career and you still got more fights. Um, I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to ask you, what so far in your career, what is kind of the highlight of, what's your favourite moment of your career so far? Defo winning the first fight of the super cup yeah because that was actually that was my first uh, submission that was my first finish was that my first finish? yeah that was my first finish um and i got it in the first round and yeah even the walkout and all like i even posted it this week from a little fight week post uh the walkout in the super cup and uh an unforgettable experience like it really was and i'm so grateful for all those times so that's only me that's only me toured MMA fight ever, like you know what I mean? Like so uh it was um a mad experience, but still to this day, uh so far it's it's my best experience, I'd say. Such a thrilling feeling.
Yeah, it was. I, I'm kind of raging that it hasn't happened since the Super Cup. It was a fantastic yeah. idea. Um, yeah. Like that, I was watching. I'd be in work and I'd be watching in the truck and I'd be like, look and see what was happening. And I remember you getting the finish. But no, mm. um, I hope <laughs> you do bring it back. But I'm going to let you go. Is there anything you want to say before you go or anyone you want to shout out? And I want to thank you so much for your time because I know it's fight week and I know you're busy. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And um, thanks to thanks to all my teammates um, for always having great spars. Um, thanks to my family, they're so supportive. And uh, my boyfriend, Bradley, he's so supportive. Perfect. I will see you on Sunday. I'll be at the show. Um, yeah, so I'll get to see the fight in person. I'll get to see fight in person again. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.